This other issue may play into one one big role. Um, is it possible that my negativity can be coming from others' negativity, um, well, such as I'm up here and I'm trying to bring someone up here because they bought me up there, but oh, they're, really they're weighing on the reality. Well, now I'm feeling like it, it, it brought me down to their reality. Well, here's why. So you're focused upon something just because you want to feel good and you're in the vortex. But when you're in the vortex, because you remember not being in there, you sure like it when others are in there because you want them to feel good like you've discovered. And then you notice someone not in. But because they're not in, they can't hear you. And when you talk vortexy, they think you're nuts. And when you talk optimistically, when they stand in the face of what they're facing, and even when they're looking at manifestations that they don't quite see for you, then they call you delusional. So then, because your desire to help them is so strong, you exit the vortex to help them. And now you got nothing to give them. What, what if both parties' desires are similar? Well, you're and, the... And then the, the, the ape, your words didn't come to me it was bought to me and the same person is struggling with reality and what is wanted well you see we're actually asking something pretty significant of all of you we're asking you to ignore the reality that's had nearly your undivided attention and to hang your star on your emotions just for a little while because we know when you do it your reality will flip but it takes that's what faith is faith is finding the vibration without the evidence that backs it up and most people are looking for the evidence out here in reality we say we love working with terminally ill people because they finally are the only ones that will do the real work because lo as long as there's one more thing you can do, one more thing you can wrestle to the ground, most of you will do it. It isn't until, it isn't until something gets your attention and you accept that it's the vortex work, it's the alignment with who you are, that you begin to feel your full power, you see. So what happens as you're interacting with other people, it's very common that your desires are similar. In fact, you co-create with your mate. You ha you've co-created such magnificent things in your vortex. You're tied together in a very, very powerful way. But when either of you is not in vibrational proximity to the vortex, it doesn't matter where the other one is because if you're not there, you can't feel it. And so what we're really saying to you is, and it's hard to hear, but we really want you to hear it. You have to be willing to ignore what everybody else is doing and make your relationship with your vortex the most important relationship that you have. It's like a mother said to us one day as we were encouraging her in uh, how to respond to her son who things were not going well for. And she, her heart was broken and she was wanting to explain to us all of the things that were going wrong. And so we talked to her about this vortex and we talked to her about how she just has to ignore what's going on and she has to focus completely upon the vortex version of him which was a far cry from the reality version of him and she said but Abraham won't he feel like I have forsaken him if I don't commiserate with him if I don't listen to him if I don't try to encourage him and we said no one will feel like you are not with them if you are practicing every chance you get the vortex version in other words, no one will feel like you've let go of them if you are imagining their well-being and rooting for their well-being and practicing the thought of their success. But no one benefits from your attention to what is when what is isn't what they want. They think it is. They say, come here and be there with me. So you march right out of your vortex and you be there and then you both resent each other because neither one of you feel good because you're not in the vortex. And meanwhile, the good news is you're both putting more in the vortex, you see. Here's what we would do if we were standing in your physical shoes. We would end every day by putting ourselves in bed, say good night to everyone with the idea that you're not going to talk any further. And as you are drifting off to sleep, we would go as general as we can into a place of 
appreciation appreciate your pillow appreciate the air conditioning in the house appreciate the roof over your head appreciate just the simplest things that don't challenge you in any way just appreciate and if you can drift off to sleep in appreciation if you go to sleep in the vortex you'll wake up in the vortex it's just the way that it is because your vibration is where you last left it so when you awaken in the morning let your first thoughts be oh I like that feeling of appreciation and then if you can do a little bit of basking just to keep it going in other words it's so much easier to start with the vortex and let the vortex affect reality than it is to face reality and then try to drag reality into the vortex because law of attraction is amplifying wherever you're at so if you have a relationship with someone who's really verbal and you do and, the, and and so are you and the conversations going on around you a lot about what is about what is about what is you make it hard for you to catch a moment where the vortex can take you in now we want you to feel this picture feel this feel this so you've put all of this into your vortex and this larger part of you is stands as the summoner of you you're being called home to the fullness of who you are constantly and the reason that you feel every emotion that you feel is because when you're being called home and you're non-resistant you go which is the elation when you are being called home to who you are and you're non-resistance it feels like it feels like passion it feels like appreciation it feels like love it feels like the heavens are opening as you said but if you've been talking it up about things that aren't working and you've been opening the door and you've been noticing that what you're looking for isn't there and the vortex is calling you it feels like tension when you don't go so so the more you can relax and let the vortex take you then not only the better you feel and then you can begin counting your blessings so to speak making lists of positive aspects but the more manifestations will show up that you can then begin reiterating it would sound crazy to a normal person to hear Esther crowing about being called with no shoes to the gravel so that she could walk into the closet with no shoes on so that she could discover a problem that she didn't know she had but to Esther that was manifestation that indicates that the universe is looking out for me and that I'm in the vicinity that I'm being called and letting it happen through the path of least resistance and when you that's what that feeling of worthiness is the best feeling of word the feeling of worthiness is the knowledge that you're good and source knows it and you just get this wonderful exposure to life that is not only building your vortex bigger and better and bigger and better and bigger and better bigger and better and bigger and better Jerry and Esther are having such an interesting experience they've been moving through life everything imaginable has come for them five books on the New York Times a couple of them number one everybody wants that what that, that was something that unfolded more money than they have any sensible use for a lifestyle that is rivaled by no one beautiful houses all over the place driving monster buses around the country people adoring them the message moving through them everything wonderful and yet still more room for deepness deepness in their relationship deepness in their understanding of worthiness deepness in their understanding that all things are possible deepness in their understanding that it doesn't matter what is that you have the ability to focus upon what you want and find it deepness in understanding your true power in other words there is no end to what is in your vortex and the vortex's ability to bring to you greater clarity greater knowing greater love greater confidence greater security greater well-being greater understanding that you are a being with no end to the capacity of your expansion you see so these are good times yes it is these are really good times now with that said 